Am I? That graffiti. Apparently a lot of shit's going down at this club. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Okay then, so we just had a very dramatic moment. I don't think a gun's a good idea. Oh shit! This is like that eclipse! You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is it that? Can't be too Jesus, moves. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Uh, that is not good. That puts a lot of stress Welcome on Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Poor Warren. It's not creepy, but still cute. <laughs> Me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Job, job, I guess, if you look at it hard enough. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and... You bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? 
Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Thank you. We'll be going in now. Nathan and take him down. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Object Angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. You're welcome. You can thank my ass later. <laughs> That's not weird. Bouncer, I love the name. Because hey, Max. taxi people. What are you doing in here? If I get sick now, yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Want to get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin, and not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Uh, well, I am very sorry. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Uh... That wasn't a good... Dude, go chill. Go sit down and go home. Trust me. This guy is like... I'm never careful. leaving this toilet! This is my last Vortex Club party! Oh no. Not again! Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Yes! You've been vomiting for like an hour! Good night, sweet prince. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get Somebody's sick. either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, gross. How did this even get here? Hey, Molly. Can I please get through? Or what in the hell am I doing? 
What am I doing back here? I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Uh... Chloe must be around. Yeah, must be around indeed. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Or both? What in the world is going on? Well, I guess I'm not supposed to be here. Hey, Gusta. What's that wrong? What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Hey, glow sticks are amazing. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. So I need to go that way, I just don't need to go that way yet. Uh, hey Courtney, how are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world, <laughs> get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so... I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. Rude. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. But now I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? I will. He left already, but we're going to map out our drive-in date later. Warren wants to go to dinner first, so that'll be fun. Is that cool with you, Max? Yes, it's great. Brooke, I'm happy for you. And Warren. I'd like to see you happy instead of waiting. Thanks, Max. Though I feel selfish talking about a boy considering Kate and the Arcadia Bay echo meltdown. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Sure. I don't mind flying a drone or two. But where the fuck do I go? Uh, this is gonna take a while. Excuse me, assholes. Okay, well, I'm going with plan B and see looking around. Uh, is everyone here 
here that I can talk to. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. True, I'm always saving your ass, even though I don't know why I do. Probably karma, I guess. I am going at it hard. I could have gone without the flashing lights, please. Well, oh shit. Hey, Max! What are you doing in here? If I get sick well, now, I can drink more later. I, I guess I do need to find a way into the VIP club. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. I have no idea where I need to go, but I already know I'm copyrighted again. Okay. Well, shit. I don't know what to do. Are you mental? You can't come in. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. You're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes! Give it up for Brother Warren! Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town! True. That'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town. And the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult! Look at this crap! Dress code? VIP section? Elitist bullshit! Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you for, for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. You're welcome. Thanks.
feel like I'm in some kind of dream nightmare. the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. I heard they wouldn't let Kate Marsh in Vortex. You dance worse than my dad. Yes, but can you do Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. I think Should I warn her? Very powerful. But we'll see. Victoria, so your picture so, so has to win. Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, did you so hear long. something? So I'm trying long. not to. Oh. I nine, nine, nine is my emergency line. If I see you say trouble comes my way, it's the eight. About two to five. Too late, my mate. Cool up in the place, in the space. Crime signal and trouble in his face. Me and my mates, we're cruising to the earth. Chips and crackers. There are no expense, Vortex Club. Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the bleachers. Eat shit, Taylor. Enjoy the end of the world. Okay, like, maybe I will. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Or is everybody here all fucked? I am so wasted. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. 
Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Oh, I will. You didn't help Kate at that party. You knew she was totally wasted. Then you sent the video to everybody just to twist the knife. Wow, are you kidding me? I didn't make her drink that wine. Nobody pushed her tongue into everybody's mouth. I watched her, Max. Then shame on you. And you know Kate was dosed, no matter how much you deny it. That's why she ended up on that roof. And you made sure to take one last video of her, right? I deleted that video from my phone, Max. I didn't know what to do, okay? Sorry. Oh, I bet that comforts Kate's family. I don't even know how you sleep at night. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And her. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Oh, um, no reason. I, I, I'm i glad we finally had a talk. I don't blame you for not caring. I totally know I'm a mean bitch. Too much residue for my other school clips. We are supposed to be adults, right? That's what they tell us. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Nathan Prescott? Why do you want to know that? Uh, uh, Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. I hope he doesn't give you any shit. Actually, I haven't seen Nathan tonight. I swear. Au revoir. Should I have warned Victoria about Nathan? I mean, she might be evil, but... Nope. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. 
All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Thank you, Victoria. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed yeah, Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Okay, then. It's fading. What in the world? What the hell? And now it's partially showing. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Okay, apparently I'm playing a horror game now. Great. When we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Jesus, be quiet, okay? We have to be invisible. You just walk through something. Uh, I just had a heart attack. Shit. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Please hurry. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Looks like a body bag, baby. Oh, no. That again on me. What the fuck? What in the hell? Chloe. Mr. Jefferson, what? What? What the, what? What? Uh, apparently that was it for episode four. Wow. Um, holy crap. Um, 
Wow, I do not know why Mr. Jefferson is there. I thought this was all Nathan. Well then, uh, wow. Okay then, I guess we'll now sit through the credits again. Wow. Still amazes me that Kaylee Chloe died and got shot. She like died with her friend basically. And I don't even know what's gonna happen to us. Which really sucks. I guess I do have to play that last episode and figure it out. Oh guys.
that note, guys, we can take a look at what we did. Okay, apparently I'm a douche. No one got hurt. Chloe killed Frank. How is that possible? Well, I am the low majority of this. I, I don't even see this blue jay. I didn't see this bird nest. What the fuck? I didn't think I could. I usually do. Okay. Bye. So we're on the last episode, Polarized. Okay then guys, I guess that's it for episode 4. If you guys want to see more in the future, please leave a like and subscribe. It does help the channel and it does help you keep in touch with the channel and see more content in the future. And until then, I will catch you on the next one. See y'all.